My name is Emily Legato, and I've been tattooing for six years. I really enjoy doing realism tattoos, a lot of illustrative work also. There's never been a female winner of Ink Master. I think I bring a whole package. I'm an attractive woman with plenty of talent and personality to spare, so I truly believe that I'll go farther than any other female artist has in this competition. My name is Aaron Is, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. Yeah, I'm known for my realism, but lately I've been expanding into sacred geometry and dot work. Aaron was a guest artist in my shop, and he immediately rubbed me the wrong way. One of the things that pissed me off most about Emily is that she comes off as a person that I don't think she really is. She's not a bad tattoo artist, but she tries to distract from her abilities with her attitude. Aaron is the king of showboating. He wears bunny ears. He dresses in Speedos at conventions. I take it very seriously, and Aaron just doesn't. She may see me as an arrogant person, but I see her as a showboat worse than me. The fact of the matter is she has only been tattooing six years. I've been doing it 16 years. I like to think I'm a very skilled and a very broad artist. Experience doesn't matter if you don't have the talent. My harshest critics would probably say that I'm an evil, vindictive bitch. Go home. I'll make sure to send you there, pack your bags for you even. Goodbye. But it's only because they can't take the competition and they're too soft for a challenge like this. Emily, keep doing what you're doing and you're going to fall on your face, which is fine with me. But when you're done, Maybe rethink your decisions in life and become a better person because that is what's going to make you a better artist. This is a competition and I do plan on winning it. They're going to have to change the name of the show to Ink Mistress. Ink Master Rivals, new episodes Tuesdays at 10 on Spike.